good afternoon good evening everyone i hope that all of you are doing well and doing great first of all thanks for taking other time before we start with anything let me introduce myself my name is deeper i have 15 plus years of experience in the same field and uh, without wasting any time let's just get started and let's take a look at the today's agenda so today's agenda is what is big data what is aws and uh, big data in aws how aws generally can solve the big data challenges now moving on now talking about what is big data so big data is a term for collection of data sets so large and complex that it becomes difficult to process using on-hand database system tools or traditional data processing applications now we have five v's of big data first is volume because like by 2020 accumulated data universe of data will grow from 4.4 zettabytes to uh, to around 44 uh, zettabytes or or 44 trillion gigabytes because our data is increasing and since we are uh, storing a lot of data and since uh, we are upgrading the operating system the file size is changing it's getting a huge requirement right, right now the next vector is variety uh, basically we have different kind of data which is being generated from different sources that like you can see we have structured data relational semi-structured unstructured we have so many types of different data so we have a big requirement we have where we have different type of data as per the different use cases and we have accumulate and we have to work on that data next is velocity so uh, what is it uh, basically it means that like we require there are some special cases of data that we need in real time like we can't even expect a delay of that single second so like for example in every 60 seconds we have more than 100,000 plus tweets which is getting available in every 60 seconds we have 1800 tb of data which is being stored so we need a need a way a solution which can be very fast like the moment you're going to hit that data is stored updated and the result is being presented to you so we need a uh, basically a very super fast way that's something uh, we manage uh, here with the help of velocity next is basically value which is the way to bring the correct meaning out of a data because uh, your computer understand a language of zero and one like we are i'm communicating with you in english you are understanding that language but if i talk about your computer system it understand the language of zero and one so we need to have a values that your computer can understand effectively it, it is not requiring um, so many translators so many processes to process it should be fast enough and last is veracity so which basically says uncertainty and inconsistency in the data like you can see in the form of question mark it needs to be corrected and it needs to be removed now what is aws aws stands for amazon web services now aws is a secure cloud platform offering compute power database storage content delivery and other functionality to help uh, business scale and grow now if i talk about what is the use of cloud now if i ask from you guys what is a cloud cloud is basically you know collection of computing resources uh, which is your power supply hardware that you can access from anywhere now for example i have to build a uh, let's say windows 2019 operating system i'm going to build on a computer and i have to take the computer everywhere with me you know it can be a desktop it can be a laptop i'm going to have the hardware requirement everywhere now in the case of cloud uh, what we can do is i can build it on the cloud system and i can easily access it from everywhere so that is uh, one of the biggest uh, benefit that we get that wherever we have the bulk of data uh, which we need to access from everywhere that data can be accessed managed and manipulated uh, very easily so that's the advantage of cloud like i want to create a virtual machine i can create in seconds and i can access it from everywhere now talking about big data in aws now before i talk about that as well aws is a cloud platform cloud service which is given by azure now uh, we have the cloud service which is given by microsoft which is known as uh, microsoft azure which is basically the cloud service from microsoft azure likewise aws is the name of a cloud service from amazon likewise we have the cloud service from google which is known as gcp google cloud platform now in the case of big data in aws you have the aws plus you have a different form of data that you combine and you can manage easily here now talking about structured learning in edureka if you are highly interested to learn the entire course end to end in detail uh, this is the way we are going to proceed in the very first class you're going to understand what is big data and what is Hadoop uh, with the practical hands-on in the second class you will learn about Hadoop architecture and HDFS with the practical hands-on in the third class you will learn about Hadoop map reduce framework with the hands-on in the fourth class you will learn about what is advanced Hadoop map reduce its component core components with the hands-on in the fifth class you will learn about Apache pig with the hands-on in the sixth class you will learn about Apache hive 
with the hands on in the seventh class we will learn about advanced apache hive and edge base with the hands on in the eighth class we will learn about advanced apache edge base with the hands on in the ninth class we will learn about processing distributed data with apache spark with the hands on and in the 10th class we will learn about oz and hadoop project with the practical hands on and at the end you are going to become a superhero who is going to have a cape like this just kidding you are going to become a superhero with the knowledge now uh, talking about how exactly your aws can solve the problem so basically we have the big data challenges so many big data challenges that we have how basically you know aws can solve those challenges out now let's take a look so one of the biggest challenge that we uh, basically get is data ingestion because uh, with data ingestion uh, this is the biggest challenge that we get like how we are going to ingest the data how we can manage the data everything so that's the biggest problem which we get like for example if i'm uh, bringing different type of data into a single file structure and structure it will be very difficult for you to manage that's the biggest problem second problem that we have is which is data storage now we are going to have a bulk of data so eventually we are going to run out of a space at some point of time so how i can store different type of data third is data pre-processing so data pre-processing basically is one of the way where the data is going to be processed right now and uh, we want to let's say use this data in different applications how we will be able to use it and the last one is data visualization now which is the biggest factor the people who are in the management they need a real-time reports and all so how easily we can have that data you know visualization how basically we can create a report and how basically we can manage it so how can we do this now let's take a look first is basically for data ingestion problem we have a feature of amazon kine assets with, uh, with the help of amazon snowball we can easily manage it out now for data pre-processing we basically have amazon emr amazon redshift with the help of which we can easily manage it for data storage we basically have amazon s3 and amazon loop with the help of which we can easily manage it and for the last data visualization we have the quick insight now all these are itself it basically is a bigger module so this is not like that it's a smaller module in itself this is the one of the biggest uh, module like for example just for quick side i can have a couple of hours of discussion amazon s3 i can have a couple of hours of discussion so here this we are telling the higher level overview of it because this is a webinar where we touch the depths of it but if you want to uh, you know learn everything in detail you can enroll for the course where we cover each and everything in detail okay we can wrap up the session for today thank you so much